children make mistakes. You don't grab them and say that you, I want to inject you with FSFS because you did something wrong. I want to inject you. Come on, I want, to, I want you to drink economica. You will never do that. Even though they make mistakes. Our children make mistakes. Sometimes they make real mistakes. Sometimes you tell them to sleep, they get up. You tell them, look here, they look at the opposite. That You talk one, they will talk two. But that doesn't mean that you give the worst to them. God will never do that. Even we make mistakes. Are you with me? Our mistakes open the door for the devil. But God never put evil on us. So we see God promised that he will take all sicknesses from among his people. Let us see the third. Exodus again. Exodus chapter 23 verse 25 and 26. It is also stated that I can give you so many but let's take three from the Old Testament and three from the New Testament. Are you with me? So Exodus chapter 23 verse 25 and 26 listen to what he said there worship the lord your god and his blessing will be on your food and water i will what take away, take away. somebody say take away. take away i will take away sicknesses from among you enough yeah. hallelujah i can give you jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 but we don't have time to go through the old testament but we can see so many scriptures that god want his people to be free from sickness and disease yes. let's go to the new testament in the new testament let us begin with matthew let us see what matthew said matthew chapter 8 verse 16 and 17 it is written there listen after jesus healed the people listen to what he says he said when evening came many who were demon possessed were brought to him and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed how many of them oh, how many of them oh. all the sick he healed them all the sick Verse 17, listen to verse 7. He said, This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and carried our disease. He healed to confirm it. And he will heal you to confirm his word. God heal you to confirm his word that he wants you to be healed. He said, He healed that it might be fulfilled what was spoken through the prophet isaiah he took up our infirmities and carried our diseases. our diseases if he carried them we don't need to carry hello Amen. i in the prayer meeting one time we were as we were discussing the word of god god gave me a revelation and I brought it. I said, Jesus, by his sacrifice, already paid the price. He carried our sickness and our infirmities, our diseases, and our, on the cross, he paid for that so that me and you can receive healing. Amen. If he paid for that, we don't need to pay. It is already paid. All that you need to do is what? Come and enjoy. Amen. Come and enjoy. Amen. I think of our sister Janelin before she went to Philippines. You know, she, all of it, he said, Pastor, I am, are you available? I am inviting you and your family. Why? He said, I want to treat you in a restaurant before I go. I thought she was talking about McDonald's. <laughs> and we were going to eat pizza. She said, we are going to Excelia Petua. And then, okay. So we drove, we went there, and it is an expensive place. They brought the menu. And then, he said, choose what you want, choose what you want. Okay, choose salmon, choose all of this, and then, after that, 
she was paid, she paid more than 2,000 shekels. And all that I did is just to enjoy after that. Bye bye. <laughs> she paid it. I don't need to pay anything. Are you with me? She's decided to pay for us. She was not forced. Out of his, her own heart, she said, I want to pay every, just enjoy. And it reminds me of Jesus. Jesus said, I have already paid it. You don't need to pay it anything. Everything is already paid. All that you need is enjoy the salmon. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. Enjoy the salmon. There was no delays. Just the salmon. Enjoy what? The salmon. The salmon of healing. Enjoy it. Yeah. Healing belongs to you. Jesus paid it. Those that are watching me, Jesus already paid it. All that you need to do is believe and receive it. Amen. Healing belongs to you. Amen. God wants you to have a long life, not a short life. Amen. Reject that arthritis. Amen. Reject the stroke right Amen. now. I say reject that virus right Amen. now. Reject the pneumonia. Amen. God has already paid the price Amen. for you to be healed. Amen. So Matthew, give us. Matthew give us one, one scripture in the New Testament. Peter give us the second. So it is not Matthew alone. Peter also give us. Let us see what Peter said. Peter first, Peter 2, 24, we read it. Let us read it again. Every matter, every matter will be established by the testimony of two or what? Three witnesses. So we have the second testimony now. Let us see what Peter said. He himself, he's talking about who? Jesus. He himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree. On the cross, that is what he's talking about. He carried our sins so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, we have been what? Healed. God wants you to be healed. Amen. Before Jesus went to heaven, you know what he said to the church? He said, go and preach the gospel. But don't forget the sick. Don't forget the sick. Remember the sick. Let us read it. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17 and 18, listen to what he said. In the mind of Jesus before he went, listen to what he said. Fair at Mark chapter 16, verse 7. He said, and these signs... And this, let us read, come down to 16. You see, come down to 15. Okay, this is 15 already. Jesus said to them, according to Mark, these were the last words of Jesus to his disciple before he went to heaven. According to Mark, his last words, which means your last words are very important. Hello? Amen. He said to them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes, go, go to the next verse. Whoever believes and is baptized shall be what? Preach. And whoever does not believe shall be what? Forgive. And then verse 17, what did he say? He said, And these signs will accompany who follow you who follow those who believe. He said what? In my name, they will do what? They will drive out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will pick up serpent. Go to the, he said, go to the next verse. He said, they will pick up serpent snakes with their hands. And when they drink deadly thing, it will not hurt them. And then the last one, he said of what? They will place their hands on the sick and they shall what? They will get where Jesus said, please don't forget the sick. Don't turn your back on them. Place your hands on them. And they shall what? They shall be, they shall recover. They shall get where. You see the heart of God. He didn't say place your hands on the sick and they will get more sick. No, he said what? They will get what? They will get where. They will get where. I can give you scriptures upon scriptures. He said, to the weak among you in the church. Listen to what he said. James chapter 5, verse 
verse 14. Listen, he said, not everybody is strong enough, but when do we have the weak among us and they get sick? Listen, he didn't say turn your back on them. He said, is anyone of you sick? What is it? He should call the elders of the church to do what? To pray over him and what? Anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. And then verse 15, listen to what he said. He said what? Verse 15. And the prayer of faith will what? Will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, no, he will be thrown into hell. He will be thrown into hell. Will be forgiven. Mm -hmm. See, this is the problem of the church. When people come in and they are weak, they are babies. Somebody get born again one month ago, and we are expecting him or her to be the best. It's not like that. Just like the natural birth, when you are born, it takes time to crawl and to stand to learn how to walk and then to start running are you with me so also it is in the spirit when somebody get born again i don't care how old the person may be physically the person can be 50 years or 60 years but as soon as the scripture is called the person is a newborn baby and as a newborn baby he will make a lot of mistakes he will touch he will take wrong things see children, to put in the mouth. Some of them are even taking khaki. Are you with me? And put in their mouth. And then you will rush and take care of them. God says, when people are among us and they make mistakes, we don't need to make a mountain out of their mistakes. Are you with me? Amen. We should encourage them. We should start with them and tell them that it will be better. We are trying, we are try expecting something from them that we ourselves, we cannot, pro we make mistakes also. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. I know in the natural, somebody is 70 years and still make mistake. Hello? Amen. We are all making mistakes. Amen. Even though we've been in the law, I know some of you were probably born again before I was born again. But if I was born again earlier than you, I still make mistakes. And you still make mistakes. But the Bible says when we make mistakes and the Lord, and the Lord will what? Will forgive us. He is a forgiving God. Tonight, I submit to you. That God doesn't want you to be in darkness. God wants you to be in the light. Amen. God doesn't want you to live in ignorance. He wants you to live with the knowledge that God wants you to be physically well. God wants you to have a healthy body. God wants you to have a healthy kidneys, a healthy lungs, a healthy, a healthy heart. God doesn't want you to move around with high blood pressure. That high blood pressure must come down in the name of Jesus. Amen. That arthritis must be kicked out in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I think of the couple, our, you know, you know, a pastor and his wife in Philippines, when they get the corona, that they said, they thought they were going to die. You see, they could not bring food to them. He said, Pastor, you know, when they are bringing the food, they just come closer to the door, and they leave the food and they go. So you need to open the door and take the food in. He said they brought all kinds of food, but we couldn't eat. Mm -hmm. I remember when I prayed with them and the Lord healed them. He said he went from from their place. He said when they came to Tagum, uh, 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 what, what is the name of Tagumbao? He went again. To, to come in to share the news. He said, Pastor, this is the has corona. This one, pray for them also. 
listen, listen, listen. God wants us to have a healthy body. Amen. God doesn't want you to die. Mm -hmm. He wants you to live. Amen. And all that you need to do is to believe him. Amen. Believe him. God has done everything he will do for you and me to have a healthy body. Our job is to believe and receive it. Amen. Believe and what? Receive it. It is all by faith. It is all by faith in what he did through the sacrifice of Jesus. You remember I began, Jesus said, come unto me. Come unto me, all those who are burdened. Put it there and let us read it together as our con our we are con concluding with this scripture. Matthew eleven twenty eight. These are the words of Jesus. What did he say? Listen to Jesus. It is sweet to hear Jesus. Listen to what he said. He said, come to me. All oh, you who are weary and what? Burden. And I will give you what? I will give you more trouble. I will give you what? He will give you rest. He has the power to give you rest from that pain. He has the power to give you rest from that struggle. You may be holding laboratory test. It's frightening. You don't know what to do. Hear what Jesus is saying. Come to me, all those who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. He is your healer. Amen. He is your healer in Amen. times of sickness and disease. Amen. He will. He will. If you do your part, he will do his part. What is your part? Come. He didn't say stay, but he said what? Come to me. Come to Jesus. Come. Call upon him. Cry to him. Cry to him. Call to him right now. Wherever you are watching me, cry to him. Call him. He will. He will. He will give you rest so that you can praise him. Here, I don't see any sickness here right now. Because we preach the message of healing. So no, is there any sickness here tonight? No sickness. Good news. Are you with me? Why? Because we are teaching everybody that healing belongs to them. If you are watching me and you have sickness in your church and you, they don't talk about healing, come here. Run quick and come here with that sickness and you, God will give you rest. I say you will have rest in the name of Jesus. I will never forget. Allow me to say this. I remember in the Corona time when the first Corona came here and then I was going to pray for our sister. The devil said, you don't have a mask. You don't have a mask. I said, he said, don't you know that you will catch? I said, Satan, I am not going to catch. I said to myself, I am not going to catch. You are the one going away right now. And to God be the glory. I say to God be the glory. Amen. We didn't bury anybody here. Amen. Everybody got has got his normal smell, right? Amen. Normal temperature, right? Amen. Because we serve a healing God. Amen. To God be all the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Let us all stand up. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us give glory. Oh, I remember when our sister was touched by the power of God in Kagayan, healed of that cancer. When they said the laboratory test all is clear. test everything is clear we open the scripture and I said read this he said to you O oh Lord I give you praise I said repeat it to you O oh Lord I give you praise to you O oh Lord I give you praise I said repeat it 
as she was repeating, repeating her spirit, pick it. She continued to you, O oh Lord, I give you praise. She was crying. She said to you, O oh Lord, I give you praise. To you, O oh Lord, I give you praise. To you, O oh Lord, I give you praise. It is you that healed me. It is you that set me free. You're going to give him the praise. No man is your healer. No pastor mm. is your healer. Yes. Jesus is our healer. Amen. I say Jesus Amen. is our healer. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
you are our God. We shouldn't be afraid because you hold us with your righteous hand. Amen. Father, our song today, our prayer today is that you hide us. Hide me now. Hide us. Hide us in the face of all the terror, in the face of the rockets, in the face of missiles. Hide us.
our lives are preserved. No evil shall come near to our dwellings. For he has commanded his angels to keep charge over us. We shall all gather here next week. Oh, celebrating the goodness of God. Thank you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want all of you, listen, listen. I want all of you to join me to say, Lea Marco, happy to see you. Lea Marco, happy to see you. You know what I did? Because she is now all the time in the prayer. Amen. So I said, Lea, the, the prayer meeting is not a substitute to church. You need to come to church. So I understand she was thinking of it. Thank God she is here. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. If we wait for a long time and she don't come again, we repeat it. Yeah. The prayer meeting is not a church. Yeah. Come to church. Amen. Yeah. God bless you, Leah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank God. God opened the door for our Leah. Lapito, Lapitore. Our Leah Lapitore, I'm so to be here. She wants to go out every week, we know. But her situation. How many of you believe that God can make a way where there seems to be no? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. God can supernaturally give strength to the employer. And they will say that, oh, go every week. It is possible. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. I will now invite. Yeah, yeah. Come and take our offering. Chick, her sister is here, right? Yeah. What is what is the name of your sister again? Joanne. Joanne. Yes. Everybody say, Joanne, God bless you. God bless you. Okay, come and take our offering.